Hi, and welcome back to another episode of India Roundup. My name is Paloma Quadras with the top business news headlines for this week. Why Silver Lake is making bold bets in India In a span of three months, Silver Lake, one of the most prominent investors in the global industry, has pumped in about $2.5 billion across three Indian companies, Geo, Reliance Retail, and Education Technology Startup, Baijus. This rapid deal-making is on par with Japan's SoftBank and US-based Tiger Global Management. DST Global, who have invested billions into the country as India emerged as the hottest investment market in the world. iPhone makers among biggest winners in India's 6.6 billion US dollar manufacturing plan. The Indian government is expected to approve a plan aimed at bringing 150 billion US dollars in mobile phone production over the next five years, according to sources who do not want to be identified. Apple Inc.'s major iPhone assemblers are among the companies expected to participate in a $6.6 billion stimulus program to bring manufacturing to India as the world's most valuable company looks at diversifying beyond China. India is betting that many global brands will be keen to reduce their dependence on China amid rising trade and political tensions between the U.S. and China. Apple's primary supplier, Foxconn Technology Group, Winston Corp. and Pegatron Corp., are already cleared by a high-powered government committee. India considers $23 billion US dollar package to lure global manufacturers. India is planning to offer incentives worth $23 billion to attract companies to manufacture in the country. Production-linked incentives will be offered by the Prime Minister to automobile manufacturers, solar panel manufacturers, and specialty steel to customer appliance companies according to documents reviewed by Bloomberg News. Textile units, food processing plants, and specialized pharma are also under consideration for the plan. Vedanta leads India's surge in dollar loans to fund local buyouts. Vedanta raised a $1.7 billion facility in August to finance a plan to take its Indian unit private and is in talks with banks for a further $600 million. This massive borrowing by Vedanta Resources Limited has helped push up India's firm's dollar loans to fund the privatization of companies and acquisition to the most in six quarters. Enforces to acquire Guy Division Enforces Limited has announced a definite agreement to acquire Guy Division, one of the largest service now elite partners in Europe. In building capabilities relevant to the digital priorities of its clients, Enforces President Ravi Kumar said the acquisition is an important milestone in the company's journey. Guides Vision's training academy and nearshore capabilities in the Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland, and presence in Germany and Finland will strengthen Enforces' service now capabilities for its clients in Europe, Enforces has said. Celebrate life. Come. To Gujarat. And now for some top headlines in brief. Center plans seven more bullet train projects at rupees 10 trillion cost. The government is planning to invest rupees 10 trillion into seven new bullet train projects across the country. India Inc.'s EBITDA to shrink to 24%. Global rating agency Moody's on Friday said that aggregate EBITDA on Indian companies is expected to decline to 24% by the fiscal year 2021 due to coronavirus disruptions. India slips 26 places to 105 in Global Economic Freedom Index, lags in rules and freedom to trade internationally. In 2018, India ranked 54 in size above government compared with 11 in 2017. 77-year-old entrepreneur Ashok Suta hits India IPO jackpot second time. Happiest Minds, which gets almost all of its revenue from digital services, is one of two IPOs this week to woo Indian investors. Kamath panel identifies 26 stressed sectors, outlined rules for recast, Bankers estimate loans worth rupees 4 to 4.5 trillion would need recast going by the panel rules. 
Thanks for joining me. Do watch our other programs on India Roundup. Till we meet again, stay safe and take care. Thank you.